Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video. And yes, of course, continuing on with Little Mermaid Week. Now, we've come to the last Little Mermaid film that I'm reviewing. And as I teased in the last review, a lot of people were confused at first, thinking that when the trailers came out for this Little Mermaid film, this was from Disney, that, you know... Disney doing a live-action Little Mermaid film, but no, this was not from Disney. And yeah, definitely this is not the best movie adaptation of the story of The Little Mermaid from Hans Christian Andersen. Yes, I'm reviewing the 2018 Little Mermaid movie. Yeah. So, the first things I have to say um, about... Uh, the 2018 Little Mermaid film. Well, I, I do remember when the trailers came out, and I think, yeah, I don't see why not. I was confused at first, like, okay, um, you know, we're finally getting a Disney live-action version of the, of the Little Mermaid, because I think, if, I, if I'm if i correct, um, by the time this was coming out, um, you know, Disney was developing a live-action Little Mermaid film, but this was not it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, all right, so I'll go ahead and read the description that is the story. A ten-year-old girl and her young uncle reporter discover a beautiful mermaid in a circus, imprisoned and exhibited like an animal. Convinced that she is the real Little Mermaid, they organize the rescue of the fish woman. Yeah, so I do remember that uh, there, there, in the trailers, there was a circus, and uh, the Little Mermaid being in, you know, a fish tank, like, a, I don't know, fish cage, I want to say, mermaid cage, whatever they're called, and, um, you know, I could tell because, you know, um, for, at first, to me, the, the Prince Eric wannabe you know, of course, falling in love with the, the mermaid and, you know, trying to save the mermaid. Um, and, you know, that's what I thought at first because, you know, I thought that this would, because since I was, I was clearly, I clearly was uh, confused thinking this was from Disney and such, I was thinking that, yeah, because it would be just like how the story goes in the animated film, but, of course, with some changes. But, again, no. Not from Disney. Nothing like that. This is a completely different story. I'd say nothing like the Hans Christian Andersen story. <laughs> I mean, the opening to the movie, well, it, it, it's just like what we get in the Hans Christian Andersen story. A mermaid falling in love with you know, a human, and she desperately wants to have legs. And um, in this, uh, she meets with an underwater sea wizard with a hood and has, like, a necklace. In exchange, um, she would give her soul to the wizard. Um, and, you know, if she fails to, you know, be with the prince and fall in love and remain human, then she would turn back into a mermaid, and she would remain with the wizard, you know, her soul belonging to the wizard, and the mermaid that, you know, goes back up to the surface, um, you know, she sees that the human that she fell in love with and rescued from the shipwreck, well, he is with somebody else. So, yeah, of course, all ends badly for the mermaid, and, um, and throughout the movie, at times, um, the story is being told by um, a grandmother telling the story to her two grandchildren. Um, and um, the grandmother uh, being played by, yeah, Shirley MacLaine. And there was something about the grandmother that I was like, huh, it has to be, it has to be. But until I get to that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and we have our two main characters, uh, Cam and Ellie, and Cam, who is, you know, the uncle to Ellie, and apparently Ellie, Ellie being played by, uh, Lor um, Loretto, uh, Par Paralata, if I, I, I'm hoping I'm saying the full name right, maybe, um, 
I think if I'm correct, like, she has, like, uh, asthma, you know, she would at times have an asthma attack, and, uh, you know, her uncle Cam would have, like, some medical equipment, you know, to make her feel better and so on, and to calm her down, you know, because of her panting so badly, and Cam, Cam being played by William Moselli, I hope I am saying his last name right, and about William, a lot of people would remember him best for his role as Pita in the Chronicles of Narnia films. Yes, that's him, so that's really cool. Um, so again, as I said, he's a reporter, and um, I think like he is writing a story, something about a mermaid, and um, even mentioning about his, you know, n um, his niece, like like dreaming of being a mermaid and so on, and um, they they're basically like Cam is like called to be at a different location, like him and his niece have to take a train. Uh, to a different location, a temporary location they have to be for now, and, uh, you know, they're, they have a caretaker that, you know, looks, that looks after them, and um, even, of course, at one point, they, they do go to the carnival that's there, and, of course, um, you know, seeing the mermaid herself, and even, like, throughout the movie, because Cam, I, I think, like, he's not really sure if this is real or not. The whole thing of, like, say, mermaids and so on. Um, but, of course, you know, he does he does really come to realize that, you know, the this mermaid is real. So, and yeah, the, the, the woman that was, like, taking care of Cam and, and Ellie, her name was uh, Loreen. Yeah, played by Joe Mary Payton. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, and the mermaid in this, the mermaid was being played by, uh, Poppy Drayton, and, uh, the mermaid's name is Elizabeth, so, yeah, um, and, yeah, with, uh, Elizabeth, like, yeah, she does have the tail, of course, but she can, at times, have human legs, she, yeah, because it's, it's obvious, Elizabeth is that mermaid that, you know, that, uh, that story that was told at the beginning of the film. Um, and, um, there are other characters that we get, like, the main antagonist of the film, an evil ringmaster, Locke, being played by Arma Armando Gutierrez, if, if I am saying his, uh, last name right. I think I got his first name right, so, you know... So yeah, he is this uh, evil ringmaster, and uh, I had a feeling later on in the movie that, yeah, he is the wizard and keeping the mermaid's soul, you know? And he has other, you know, workers of, of, of his show at the carnival that work for him and do his bidding, and um, other characters uh, that are part of the circus. Um, there was a fortune teller... And, uh, there was, like, this, I don't know, beast-like creature? Like, what was he? Like, maybe I'm missing something, but, you know, his name being, um, U Ulysses, I think, yeah, I got the, that name right, Be uh, being played by Chris Young. And the fortune teller, um, her name is, uh, Thora, and she's played by Shanna Collins. Yeah, so... It's not just the mermaid, but uh, Thora and Uselesis, um, Ulysses, yeah, again, I think I still got the name right, uh, them two, like, they're basically prisoners, you know, and they do Locke's doing, you know, entertainment and stuff like that, you know, they are prisoners, and not only that, but um, Cam even at one point encountered an elephant, and the same thing for the elephant, being imprisoned, you know, for... Locke's own circus, basically. And um, even say, um, I think at one point, Locke uh, grew interest in Ellie, and Ellie was captured at one point. Um, and also that there are moments between Cam and Elizabeth as the film proceeds, and, um, you know, Cam starting to believe, you know, and, you know, seeing Elizabeth with the mermaid tale and so on and you know giving 
Elizabeth giving her backstory, you know, of, you know, she is connected to Locke. Well, and again, hence, Locke has uh, her soul. And um, there are a couple of, like, song numbers in this, and um, they're fine, but, you know, dig, like, nobody would be singing them. <laughs> you get my point. It's like, well, you know, a lot of people would be singing Okuda Matata or, you know, Be Our Guest. You get my point, so. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, I'll, I'll be completely honest. You know, I tried to like this film, and, you know, with what was going on, you know, because the, like, the intense stuff, you know, and the climax, you know, and when Cam and, um, yeah, Lorraine, they go to the carnival to rescue Ellie, and along with, uh, you know, rescuing Elizabeth and the others that, you know, being imprisoned by Locke, um, you know, that, that was fine, and, um, you know, them trying to get away, catch up with a train, and get to the ocean, and, you know, the, the final, like, confrontation between them and Locke, you know, Locke being very powerful, and, you know, saying that, you know, nobody could defeat me, and so on, um, but it's Ellie, and I, yeah, I think I had a feeling that Ellie would be the one to defeat Locke, and, you know, Locke, you know, falling down into the ocean, and he's imprisoned in the ocean, basically, and it seems like Elizabeth is close to dying, but of course, you know, she has to go into the water, and she's fine, and Ellie, at times having, like, panic attacks, you know, her asthma, whatever it is, um, and the, the answer for her to, like, have her calm down and for that, for that to stop is her going for a swim. That's the answer to Ellie's problems when she has those asthma attacks, you know? Um, and of course, you know, all that were, you know, prisoners slash slaves to Locke, they're all free, even, you know, a, a touching moment where Cam, you know, he helps set the elephant free and the elephant just roaming off, so, yeah. But, yeah, all ends well for our main characters and Cam writing a new story about the Little Mermaid, the Little Mermaid in Mississippi. And, yeah... If I remember correctly, the whole movie taking place in Mississippi, yeah, because, you know, at the beginning of the film, Cam and Ellie traveling by train to Mississippi, and them staying in Mississippi for a couple weeks, and thus, you know, the carnival being there, and they meet the Little Mermaid, Elizabeth, yeah. And coming back to the grandmother, finishing the story to her two grandkids, and as I said earlier... Uh, something about the grandmother, because I was, I was like, it, it has to be her. It has to be. And it is. It's Ellie. Ellie, now older, and is now a grandmother, and, you know, the two grandkids, and she shared that story, you know, of what happened, um, when she was a kid, encountering the Little Mermaid, yeah. And, of course, you know, with her asthma attack and her coughing, um, having to go outside and take a swim, and, you know, her grandkids see that and their jaws drop, you know, and the last shot, uh, right before the credits roll, we see a mermaid swimming out there, and there are two mermaids, I think? Is one of them Ellie? Like, Ellie is also a mermaid? I don't know, but I swear, I saw two mermaids swimming out there, their tails sticking out of the water. <laughs> But yeah, the 2018 Little Mermaid film, again, you know, I tried liking this film, and, you know, I, it's okay, you know, I think it's okay for what it is. Like, I can't say it's good, but I think it's fine, you know? Y sure, it's not the best movie adaptation of The Little Mermaid, you know? I mean, you know, everybody considers Disney's Little Mermaid the best, you know, even though that it's, it is different, you know, f it, it, that too is different from the Hans Christian Andersen book, you know, because the Little Mermaid 
in Disney's film doesn't die. Well, neither does this in the 2018 film. So, okay, uh, they have that in common. Um, the mermaid does not die, so there you go. And how do I rate the 2018 Little Mermaid film? Good question. That is a good question. Oh, boy. Because, because I said that I think it's okay, you know, I'm giving this five stars. Yeah, five stars for the 2018 Little Mermaid film. And what about you guys? What did you think of the 2018 Little Mermaid film? And what did you think of my review? Leave comments and give this review a like, as always. So, with all that being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the 2018 Little Mermaid film. More reviews coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review. And stay tuned. One more piece of Little Mermaid material to review, and... It has to do something with uh, a stage performance. You'll find out. Take care, and peace out.